It's better than the depression. They got 10 cents on yeah. the dollar. Yeah. Now, um, uh, let's see. The cashiers did give descriptions of the robbers, and uh, it did take several years to match descriptions with names and faces. But once they were put together, it is fully <coughs> believed that the two men who robbed the bank here were Frank James, Jesse's older brother, and Arch Clement, who was Jesse's best friend. Mm. Jesse was well known here in Liberty. Frank James mm. and Arch Clement were not. Uh, Jesse's the one that was casing out the bank, getting the movements of the soldiers, making the plans. Mm -hmm. He does the legwork. He does the research. He doesn't do the dirty work. But the boss always gets the credit for your work, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't change. Uh, in the movies, you see Jesse James doing every single robbery. Yeah. Jesse James is a heck of a lot smarter than any movie is ever going to make him out to be. Yeah. The guy who cases the place does not go in to rob it. Yeah. Or you're going to get caught. Mm -hmm. Had Frank James been the one case in this joint, Frank wouldn't have been in here. Or, you know, any yeah. of the robbers. The guy going in doesn't rob it. Mm -hmm. So, he's the boss. He gets the credit. And even if, if Frank had been the one doing the casing, mm -hmm. Jesse's the boss. He would have got the credit. So. Was there gold in this vault at the time? There was. Um, Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk around. Take as many pictures as you want. You're even welcome to squish the cricket if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's been driving me crazy today. Dead bug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the room here and the safe are set to look as they did moments before the robbery occurs. Uh, this is the very room where the James Gang's outlaw career begins. So, no one posters in the bank, mm -hmm. uh, no information on the James family. We, uh, you could not put a photograph or a picture on a reward poster at that time in history. Oh. It was technologically impossible to do. But you see it in the movies mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Did I hear you say that the, that the wall, or I'm sorry, that the safe? was put in and then they built around that and then built mm -hmm. around They the built the, the floor, which is eight layers of those stones, right. the north wall and the east wall, positioned the safe, enclosed it, topped it off, then built the building. Yeah. It does have wheels, but the only reason it has wheels is so that it can be removed from the wagon that delivered it. They prove they serve absolutely no other function. They don't swivel. You know, it's just mm -hmm. once you get it off, it's in that position. Yeah. So you better line up your wagon exactly how you want it. <laughs> and the time is exactly the time that this happened, yeah, two right? Two o'clock on Tuesday, February 13th of 1866. Okay. I would see. No, I don't know. But, uh, I'm not the first bank that uh, Frank James robbed in Liberty, in Liberty, Missouri. I just went to Liberty Bank. Now, as far as your knowledge, what would be the height that you were told was Jesse James and Frank James as far as their um, height? Frank was between 6 and 6'2". Six okay. um, Jesse was between 5'8 and 5'10". Okay, I, I guess about 5'9", because looking at the pictures of him standing next to, although yeah, some Mom people claim they were both... Mom was like 6'1". Six, six yeah. A lot of the places claim they were close to the same height, and I kept looking at no. the pictures, and I'm like, when he's oh, standing yeah. next to... Frank, he looks like he's only one inch taller than me, and I was five. Well, I'm shrunk a little bit, but I used to be five eight, so I, f I figured he's about five nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were they were pretty tall for their age. Yeah, uh, but, but the little guy always ends up being the genius. See, the two tall ones are. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the average height for a man at that time is only five five. Yeah, so they were. They were they were pretty darn tall. Yeah, pretty noticeable in a crowd yeah. then. Yeah, especially Frank. And mom was a freak of nature. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Woman yeah, two hundred pounds and six foot tall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was 190, 190 pounds, six foot tall. Yeah. Yeah. They said soft spoken but still very intimidating when she talked to people. Yes, yes. Yeah. If she didn't like it, the way a conversation was going in a group of men, you know, she's off to the side, she hears what's going on, mm -hmm. she will bustle her way in there, start shaking fingers, yeah. tell them what for, where to go, and how damn fast they better get there. <laughs> well, I know she made Frank, and when they were back home, she made Frank and Jesse go to church when, mm -hmm. when they were back home. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this stove would have looked like the original stove, pretty much. Um, actually, the original stove would have been um, a very small potbelly stove. Small potbelly, okay. With minimal fire in here. Oh, okay, yeah, the I see. The building itself was purposely designed to be fireproof, so yeah. you've got to be very careful. Tiny little fireplace. Mm -hmm. uh, extremely functional, though. We 
been yeah. dumbed down considerably. The slanted back of that literally forces the heat into the room yeah. while sucking that smoke right up the chimney. Yeah. Today, they're straight back, so the smoke goes up, yeah, but so does the heat. Yeah. And you've got this, the heat radiates through the yeah. pipe, smoke gets out. Yeah. The pipe is stone cold over there, but mm -hmm. singeing right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty smart back then. Okay. Okay.